Hello everybody, welcome to another island tour. This time we are on Claudia's island and yeah, we're having a look at Moonstone. So Claudia is a really good friend of mine. We played a lot of AC um, right at the beginning when it came out and I actually helped her with one of her other islands called Kokochi, something like that. And yeah, I've already toured that one. So this is the second tour that I'm doing of Claudia's island um, because yeah, like I said, she has two islands. So let's have a look. She's left us lots and lots of gifts. So let's see what she's given us. Very generous of her, by the way. Let's have a look what she's given us, guys. I wanna hold this first of all. Look how cute this is, this little mummy wand. Um, we have some mushies, always a good shout. Oh my goodness, so many mushrooms. Thank you so much. Oh, lollipops, perfect. Oh, and some candy. Acorns, whoa, she is really setting me up um, for crafting and stuff. For, for, whoa. Thank you so much, Claudia. Wait, what was that one? Oh, <gasps> spooky standing lamp, I love those. Whoa, and a spooky carriage, what the heck? That uses so many um, of the pumpkins. I've never had one before. I've always like got them for gifts for you guys, but I've never had one of my own, so very excited for that. Thank you so much. All right, while we're standing in this beautiful entrance, let's have a little look at her map. So there we go, it's called Moonstone, the island. The dream address is at the bottom there, guys, so if you wanna check it out, feel free to. Um, you can tour along with me. So we have Luna as our resident rep. We have Poppy, Alex, and Tom as well. And for villagers, we have Shep, Dotty, Plucky, Ozzy, Peck, Poppy. Oh, we've got two puppies on the island. <laughs> uh, Grizzly, Pearl, Kiki, and Bo. Very nice villagers. I love Kiki. You guys know that. Um, so maybe I'm a bit biased, but <laughs> still a really nice set of villagers. So just looking at her map, it looks like she doesn't have very many paths, but that's because she's using a custom QR. Um, so that's why we can't see it on the map. I wish that they'd change that so that you could see um, like QR paths, but whatever. Uh, it looks like she's used two of the houses as well for tents in a campsite. So that's going to be interesting. Um, again, beautiful entrance. Love this. I love the jail bars. I was not sure of them at first when people started using them, but now I'm in love and I'm definitely gonna like try and do it on one of my other islands. So watch this space, guys. Um, okay, let's go to resident services first, see what's up this way. Hey, Kiki! Oh my god, look at the cliff decor, guys. All those little details, every inch has something on it. Um, you can definitely clutter up your cliffs to give your island more of a kind of like lived in and um, like a live kind of vibe. It just looks like it's busy and people have used it and that yeah, the islands, like I said, alive. Um, I do have a map so we can see what each section is. So this is the post office love this we have newspapers um we got some books oh they're getting ready for christmas already that's it it's halloween today um in real life so as soon as halloween's over this post office is like yo let's uh let's get ready for christmas <laughs> but i love this so pretty this is like some wrapping paper stunning Wow, she's so good at making um, like places feel like really full and cluttered. I love it. All these little like dropped items as well. They look so good on the paths. Uh, we got a little outdoor garden plant shop thing. It looks like it's attached to Nooks, so maybe Nooks is actually like a plant shop as well. Um, yeah, so I've just looked at the map. It says Nook, Cranny, and Flower Shop. 
we have the garbage out this side and then we have all of the plants and flowers out the front and to the side oh look at this little path that you can get to really nice qrs as well that she's used i really like that oh my god okay i love this oh look at the little bags of flowers so cute whoa oh my goodness it's so cluttered i love it wait i don't think i should go that way i just want to make sure i don't miss anything um because obviously it's a very busy island okay so this is where we were We'll check out the beach in a bit. Okay, this is her house? Is it her house or whose house is this? Is this Luna's? Okay, Luna's house. Who's the resident rep? Uh, we've got a little pumpkin farm outside of a scarecrow. Really cute. Let's check it out, guys. Oh, I love the green. Oh, I didn't know that had steam coming out of it. Wait, oops. The kettle there, look at that. Whoa, that's so cute. What a nice detail. I love the green and the brown together like this. I actually did something similar on my uh, Pluto house. I love the green and the brown together. Um, I think it looks really pretty, and look at this little piano stool thing. Da -da -da. Adorable. Oh, then we have a bathroom slash utility room. Whoa. She's done so well with this interior design. This is stunning. Oh my god, look at like the little details on the wall. Oh, I need to start using wreaths more inside and like door plates inside because they look so good. Love this. And then we have a study. Someone nice to come and do your research or your university work. I'd love to come and do my essays in this room. Look at the little Christmas decorations. You guys, I can't wait to start seeing more and more of this. Wait, what is this rug? What the? I don't think I've ever seen this rug before. This one the, with the green on it. What the heck? I like it though. Very pretty. Oh, one thing you should know about Claudia is that she is like a nookazon whiz um and she's always trading so if you see that she has like a lot of um rare items like the rover's briefcase that's why because she's she's on that she is on that like um crazy she's always helped me with stuff like that because i'm bad <laughs> oh what a nice bedroom Really pretty. I love this consistent kind of green tone um, she has throughout the house. We've got all the different green wallpapers and the brown. It's so stunning. I love this so much. Amazing. Oh, I'd love to come and sleep in here. Look at all the plants as well. Oh my gosh. How incredible is this, guys? Look at those Christmas tree lights just sparkling in the darkness. Oh my goodness. All the lighting that she's put in here is beautiful. It's like a little, like, um, <laughs> sometimes we, in the UK, we call this like a man cave. Like where the lads could like come hang out and um, like play games in the basement or whatever. But I, I love this. This is amazing. Ooh, and then we have the kitchen upstairs. Oh, 
I don't know if Claudia knows how much I dislike carrot cake, but um, I'm gonna let her off, but Claudia, do not use this cake. It is um, cursed. Anyway, beautiful kitchen, yellows, and the browns, and the whites, and we still have like a little um, pop of green every now and again, just to tie it in with the rest of the house. But yeah, it's a gorgeous kitchen. I love this flooring. I've never seen it before. Very nice. Okay, let's continue with the outside sections of the island. I'm gonna have a look on the beach. Why not? Let's let's YOLO. Um, Claudia is amazingly talented um, at decorating beaches, as you can probably tell just from this tiny little section. Uh, she's got the lovely benches and the pillows. You know I love that combo, guys. But yeah, you are gonna be blown away with these beaches. If you need beach inspo, make sure you're uh, staying on this video to check out all that her beaches have to offer. Um, but this looks like Shep has his own surf shop. Are you kidding me? This is adorable. What the heck? Jeez, Claudia, this is so cool. Oh my god, okay. And then, I, I, I just don't know how she makes houses look good on the beach. Like, please tell me because I have no clue. I put them on the beach and they just look ugly um, permanently, but whatever. I guess uh, we can't all be as talented as Miss Claudia. And then we got a little um, section to come and do your laundry. Oh, I love how cluttered it is. There's so much going on. And the socks that have just like fallen off. <laughs> this happens a lot in the UK. For me anyway. Uh, when I do like my washing, they always like blow off the line. <laughs> Alrighty. Back on the path. Look how dense these woods are. Whoa. I'm obsessed with this island. What the heck? Here we have the Able Sisters. And apparently behind the Able Sisters we have a cotton farm. This is so creative. I don't think I've ever seen anyone do this before. Um, so it looks like they pick the cotton. Um, here and then they just take it up here and then they make these beautiful clothes such a creative idea alrighty let's carry on through the dense woods I do know that we have um, a big bridge on this island I think it was just to the left of me there um, but I want to save that so you guys can see it because it is really awesome I don't want to spoil it yet, guys. I need to, you know, keep you keep you waiting for that kind of stuff. Uh, this is Blathers Biology and Art Class. So I guess this is the biology section with the bugs. Um, kind of creepy, but I like it. What the heck? Look at that ant. Ugh, is that a mosquito, that other one? And then they have all the different notes about what the animals um, are and the bugs are. Oh my god. Yeah, look at all this biology. Oh no, I hope they're not doing anything to the hamster. Got the art. Oh, maybe they're just drawing the, the hamster because it's the art section. Okay, they're drawing the hamster, guys. Don't worry. Very cool. And then what's at the end? Oh, this is stunning. I think this is more of the art class. Wow. Like, I don't know. I, I just, I just can't. I can't. Uh, okay, now we can either go left or right. I'm gonna go right real quick because this is the museum. Gorgeous, by the way. So cluttered. I'm digging this. Oh, what's in the bird bath? Oh, there's a little flower that's always been in there. Like a pattern. I didn't realize. Just 
Look at all the details though. How can she make a gold rose look good? What? How do you do that? Surely that's impossible. But I guess not. If you're Claudia, you can do anything. But she's she really said, I'm going to use this one ramp for like two inches of land. And I'm here for it. Um, okay, I think this way is the big bridge. Okay, I'm going to show you guys. Um, so this is the massive bridge that she created. And I didn't go to it before because uh, we came and we saw the post office. But look, when you walk over this, it's amazing. Look at this. Whoa. How stunning. I definitely need to make a big bridge on my next island. For sure. Oh, is this her here? Is she sleeping? Hi. How do I do a hi? <laughs> oh, she's in poppies. Um, garden. Wait, is this an apple orchard? Please. <gasps> Poppy's house and apple orchard. Oh god, her house like definitely fits an apple orchard vibe. Wow. And you have like a little seating area to come and like cut the apples. Oh my goodness. The little oh my god, the um the ladder propped up against the tree. I live for this. Amazing. <laughs> Tiny stump. You can weigh the apples. This is incredible, guys. I don't know. Oh, um, I, I'm just blown away every time. Every section of this island, I'm like, oh my god, are you kidding? Yeah, this is incredible. Um, let me find out the real name of whatever she's called this. Give me a second. All right, this is the Island Pizzeria. So we got the pizza ovens and I guess this is the kitchen where the chefs make the food and stuff. And then you have the little tables. How adorable. I love the candles that she's used on the table and all the colors she's used here are pretty. Um, and yeah, this is like meant to be a barn because there's also a little sheep farm in this section too. Then like magical white rams, very beautiful. Oh my gosh. This amazing Claudia. Oh, what's this? Another little farm? This is... Grizzly's house and bee farm? Okay, so this is Grizzly's house. Is the bee farm? Oh, the bee farm looks like it's below. Okay. The bee farm's this way. Oh, yep. There are the bees. <laughs> so the bees are up there. You use the ladder and you climb up and you grab the honey. And then you, uh, yeah, you put it in here and wham bam, thank you ma'am. Beautiful. She's even managed to make friends with these villagers and get their photos. Like, what the? I don't even talk to mine. And my island looks nowhere near as good as this. What's this guy called? Sparrow or like, peck? Oh, there we go. Oh. The best offense is a good offense. Oh. I mean. <laughs> whatever um yeah very cute little house he's got some bugs which is kind of strange but i did the same on onsen i just like covered my whole island in crickets so not not judging you there peck oh my gosh oh i'm, I'm just gonna have a seat <laughs> I literally am lost for words. So I'm sorry, Claudia, if I'm not saying much at the moment, but I just, I'm sugareth is the, um, is the word. I want to see the beaches again. I'm going to go to the beaches on this side because I did a little trade with Claudia a little while ago and she was like, you can come to my island, but don't look at anything because I want you to tour. So I've seen like little sections like this. I saw um, beautiful pumpkin farm. 
outside of Ozzy's house. Ozzy's adorable. I like how she's got like the farming stuff and then like um, the fish stuff here to link it to the beach. Such a good idea. Oh my god, wait, do they serve sushi? <gasps> this is a sushi or like a little fish restaurant. It has to be, let me look. Aussie's house and fish market, yes. So you can buy your fish. Amazing. I think you can actually jump across here. I think that's what we did. Yes, we did. Oh, oh, oh my god, Christmas stuff. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, contain your excitement. What is this? Um, I need to find out, I need to find out, I need to find out. This is, um, wait, a beach wedding? <gasps> wait, have they got a Christmas themed beach wedding? Oh my god, that's, oh my god. I like how she's mismatched the chairs. Whoa, oh my goodness, guys. Oh. How pretty! I'd love to get married here. Oh my gosh, all these pearls. Who would even think to put a fountain on the pier? Except for Claudia. Like, what? Oh my god, the, the gold roses when they're picked, they look kind of dope. What the heck? Interesting. Yeah, everything is just perfect. Um, that's all I can say. You have somewhere to play the piano for the wedding. Da, 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 da. Oh my gosh. Guys, I can't. Oh, we got someone's house here. Dottie's house. Wow, Dottie can watch all the weddings happening from her window. That's how I'd like to experience a wedding. Just just from my house. I don't have to like go and interact with the people. Just just watch. <laughs> Again, super dense, foresty vibes. And I love this time of day that she's picked. Oh my gosh. Like I just feel like I'm getting lost. Oh, okay, we're back at Aussie's pretty house. Oh my goodness, wait. I just saw something. <gasps> Look at the lily pad. Oh, we saw this on someone else's island. I think they look so cute. Kiki's house. I like how she's used the same colors around Kiki's house. Um, as like the house colors. <laughs> so she's got like the green and the orange and the red. Very pretty. this way another cute little house and the lily pad oh tiny lily pad <laughs> adorable oh okay this is back to where we were before wasn't it yeah okay cool so we we are not missing anything that's good that is good that's what i like Um, so let's head up instead. Oh, I love these cabins. I'm gonna have to get bow. I'm doing like a um, winter ski lodge kind of vibe for my next island. So I need all these houses basically. <laughs> and he's a lumberjack, which makes sense. That looks so good with these kind of houses doing the lumber, lumberjack kind of stuff. Oh, the campsite. Yes. Okay, I've been looking forward to this. Let me just check everything else out first because I kind of want to save it. <laughs> oh my gosh, look how... Guys, just look at the cliffs. Look how full they are. All the colours. Stunning. <gasps> oh, I love this own entrance to the beach. Whoa, this is the secret beach, guys. Okay, and she has red hair. I love it when people have red because I can see how they actually like wanted the section to look. But this is amazing. I can't. This is, yeah, okay, whatever. Claudia wins. I 
All right, let's go to the campsite. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, look. <gasps> With the two tents. Wait, has she decorated inside the tents? Let's see. Oh, she has. Oh my God. You can't really do much inside of here, but she's definitely made um, the best use of the space that you have. And she's kept it very simple. This is the kind of stuff that you would have in a tent. Well, this is the stuff that I have in a tent when I go camping. I want to see the other one. I'm just, I'm shook. Like, look at these paths with all the QRs on them. And all the flowers and the weeds. You even have sheep in here. It reminds me of whales. Oh, and again. Very similar, but slightly different layout so cool how amazing oh my goodness i i just can't look at the weeds ah uh, the two weeds okay what the heck she has a two layer campsite oh okay whatever i'm i i i, I can't i'm done Two layers on a campsite. What? Two levels? She's like really made the campsite like a big deal. And a lot of people, they, you know, like everybody's campsite I've seen is like very well decorated and stuff. Um, but it's kind of just this and then like, it's probably just like the amount of effort like that is on this top layer here, like the amount of stuff. Um, but she's really said, let me just make this a whole freaking section of my island. I'm just like, what? <gasps> and then this is still the campsite. Like, what the heck? Oh my gosh. Oh, no way. You can walk across here to get... I'm done. I'm I'm done. Claudia wins the terraforming um, crown. Guys, are you serious? No, there's more. <gasps> and you can see the ponies. Stop, this is too cute. Wait, does it look like I'm riding the horse? Wait, there must be an angle I can get that looks like I'm riding the horse. Yeehaw! <laughs> Yeehaw, baby! <laughs> That's so funny. Wait, what's around here? No, okay, we can't get through. But yeah, this definitely reminds me of this campsite that I go to in Wales that I've been to like all my life, basically. And it's kind of on a farm and you have like sheep around you and there's like loads of overgrown trails that you can walk up yeah it's it's literally like this oh my god how amazing all right we got another house over this way i want to try and get in there let me see if i can work it out i'm a bit of a a dum dum so might take me a little while, but I will get there. Oh, I'm not as much of a dum dum as I thought. All right, so we got some pumpkin carving. I'm still yet to do this. Whoops. Very cute. We have another home. Whose house is this one? I guess this is the second. Yeah, Poppy's house. Okay, let's see what's inside. Ooh. Wait, is this... This is meant to be maybe something else. This is bed and breakfast with pumpkin farm and pumpkin carving workshop. Okay, we love that. Let's check this out. So this is a B&B. &B. It, it does, like I said, it does not look like a house. It does look like a BNB. &B. You have the little reception area. And we can ding dong the bell and be like, yo, give me my room. 
So does that mean each room has everything in? Let's have a look. Oh, pretty. Oh my God, I'd love to come to this B&B. Yes, it's very homey, but also you can definitely tell that it's um, like a bed and breakfast kind of vibe. Cause you've got like all the laundry stuff in here as well. Oh, love that. Another little bedroom with some Ugg boots. <laughs> Very similar to the last one, which is what you would expect from a bed and breakfast. Really like this. Oh. This has got more of a kind of masculine vibe to it. But I love it. I think it's very nice. All right, so these three bedrooms downstairs are all very similar. So I'm curious to see what the basement and the attic ones look like. Whoa. Oh my God. Okay, so this is like the shared bathroom um and laundry room what the heck how premium is this i want to stay at this bed and breakfast are you serious oh <gasps> you have the toilets there and the laundry Oh, and then upstairs we have the kitchen. Okay, so okay, the, all the rooms are on the first floor and then the basement is the, um, like the shared communal, like bathroom and stuff. And then we have the kitchen, again, another current cake, but apart from that, it looks beautiful. Very nice. All right, that was so cool. Um, I love when people use their second houses or like third houses or whatever as like special things on their island. I don't know how to describe it. All right, I had to use a ladder to get here because I couldn't work out how to get to this last section of the beach. But we have a flower beach here and also at the end there's a pottery and art workshop. So let's have a little look. I love that it's starting to get dark because look how these butterflies shine. Amazing. Ooh, I can't get over her beach decoration. Okay, so we have the art workshop. Very pretty. Oh, the green and the brown. Those combination um, of colors. So like any greens and browns together. I think just looks amazing. Whoa, she's put the shell on top of the barrel. I really like that. It looks wooden almost. Interesting. And here's the pottery stuff. Gosh. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. All right, guys, I think we have managed to see everything now on this island. I thoroughly enjoyed this. I cannot believe how amazing this island has turned out. So thank you so much, Claudia, for letting us come over. Um, it was such a treat to finally see this island. If you guys liked this video, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you are not already. I will also leave any social media that Claudia gives to me in the description so you guys can go check out her work in other places. I would also like to say a massive thank you to the YouTube members for supporting the channel. Thank you Savannah, Lotus, Julia, Nate, Tansy, Domino, Allison, Lux, Aurorys, Claudia, Sophie, Amy, Darlene, Delida, Vanessa, Liam, Elliot, Squiddy, Sophie. Auntie Steph, Spooky Pigeon, Adam, Victoria, Lindsay, Miss Swazzy, Haley, Samantha, May, Mia, Melissa, Katie, Carolyn, Leo, Honey, Lo, Robert, Crossing Channel, Marigold, Liz the Last, Milky, 
Maya the Dinosaur, Fox, Zara, Haley, Lena, Lottie, Kimmy, Brittany, Wilbo's World, Hilda, Mac, Violet, Jillian, Merle, Natalie, Maple Crossing, Kelly, Lauren, Willow, Natasha, Felicia, Sugargay, Melissa, Cyan, Claire, Neville and Jazz, Caitlin, Crystal, Rachel, Yaya, Zoe and Kale. Thank you so much guys. I also want to give a massive, super special shout out to my Pinies parents. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. You guys are incredible. We now have three Pinies parents. We have Koyas, Mirabelle, and Artemis. So thank you guys so much for everything that you do for me and the channel. Other than that, guys, I will see you either in the next live stream or the next island tour. Bye, guys.